Hello again. We're <laughs> sitting here waiting for uh, Dean and Valerie to arrive with their trailer. We're uh, going to start the Kentucky Bourbon Trail here in a couple days. Uh, hopefully, Dean get, didn't get lost. We, he got off on exit uh, 308, so uh, we, he's going to have some county roads to travel to get here. A beautiful day here today in Alabama. Uh, this may be them here. And it is. Here they come. Find my place to park here. All the boat trailers. Good morning, Sunday morning. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day here in Alabama, but we're on the road headed towards Kentucky. Uh, our first stop is the Heaven Hill Distillery. We have a two o'clock reservation to do that tour. And then we're going to find uh, the old Kentucky Home State Park. That's where we have reservations for three nights in March. Stop. Uh, we stop there. And, uh, don't have anything going on yet for Monday. I we'll we'll guess we'll just tour around March now. Dean and Val, Dr. Dean and Valerie are behind me uh, with their RV. So, should be a fun trip. Hang on. We left Alabama and five hours later made it to Bardstown. We lost an hour due to the change from Central to Eastern time, but we made it in time for the tasting. We made it to uh, Heaven Hill. Our reservation's at 2.15. Just checked in. They're going to call us here in a second. These are, I imagine these are the warehouses where they're storing the barrels. Here's the guest center. And I have no clue. Maybe we'll find out what's going on here. Dean and Valerie, you're inside. I forgot the camera. I had to run back to the RV to get it. Not much uh, RV parking here. I hope we're okay. We just took up some parking spots on our way to uh, the campground. So, see what the tour is all about. Larceny, Mellow Corn, Evan Williams, Stein House, or Ritten House. My tour companions, these masked individuals. Yes, we made it. <laughs> all the masks, all the tours require masks now. Good, yeah, good, good to be safe. Evan Hill Distilleries. And, uh, Bardstown, Kentucky. Limited uh, availability of the tour, so if you're going to come, get some reservations. Sorry, no videotaping of the tasting was permitted, but I'll fill you in on the results. Both Dr. Dean and I preferred the Elijah Craig. Valerie's not a bourbon drinker, which worked to our advantage. Well, we're here. She's about a mile and a half from the uh, Heaven Hill Distillery. Okay, that was the wrong location. Uh, he sent us back out here, and it's I think it's back by the golf course. Looks like a beautiful golf course out here. Give you a view of that. and make our right at the first chance we get, he said, which I imagine would be the, the clubhouse. So we'll see. Oh, my old Kentucky home state park. It's kind of vacant now. It was full this weekend. Great location, right, right here in Bardstown. By all the... Uh, I'll have to do a map and show you guys all the uh, distilleries and, and the areas they're in. State Park needs some updating. It's, uh, it's kind of long distance. You have a dump station. Uh, no, I think only one or two sites have sewer. Uh, and the water and electric uh, pavilions are, are post or quite a ways away. I, I think we were one of the fortunate ones and it's still 20, 30 feet from the RVs. Some of the other ones are a little further distance. So, 25 bucks a night though, it's a beautiful, beautiful park. It's right here off the golf course. It's shaded. But you can see from the bathhouse, it's uh, 60s and 70s. Small park, probably 40, 50 sites. But conveniently located. The state park in Bardstown was conveniently located next to all these distilleries, 
with the maker's mark being the furthest about a half an hour away. Looks like that Rick house got burned down and they're redoing it. Millet's Distillery. I don't know what the log home is there. Coming soon. I don't know. What, well, there's a pond behind it. Maybe an old mill house. Here's the visitor center. And the rick houses with all the mold on the sides. And the masked ranger. Again, no videotaping of the tasting was permitted. And as for the results, we weren't impressed. I tried to go to the Oscar Getz Whiskey Museum. Of course, it's Monday and found out they don't open on Mondays. <laughs> okay, we'll try day two at the Oscar Getz uh, Museum. No videotaping was uh, permitted at the museum. Entry was free, donations were accepted. It was a pretty interesting place. And if you're interested in winning five bottles of Pappy Van Winkle, here's the information on the raffle. Well, we spent three days in uh, Bardstown at the uh, old, my old Kentucky home state park. Nice park, needs some updating. Uh, nice mature trees, though, for shade. Uh, did Heaven Hill, Willet, and Lux Road Distilleries. A lot of the others are still closed. So we're on our way this morning, trying to get reservations at Bullet um, for a tour. Couldn't do that, so uh, it's in Shelbyville, Kentucky, and we're staying at the um, Lake Shelby Park and Campground, so we'll see what that's like. Um, and we're gonna swing by Bullet to see if the visitor center's open, bag and bleed, and see if we can get a tour. So uh, that's what we're doing this morning, so hang around, and uh, we'll see what Bullet's like. Well, we put in the address, 3464 Benson Pike Road for Bullet Distillery. And this is what we found. It's a, don't see a distillery. So we're going to have to regroup and go to the campground. Pretty, pretty scenery, but all I see is a silo back there. So we're going to have to regroup and uh, we're going to go to the campground and uh, see what's going on. Maybe give them a call and find out where they're really at. We didn't find anywhere we wanted to stay in Louisville, so we stayed at Lake Shelby Park and Campground in Shelbyville. It's about 40 minutes from uh, Louisville. We drove in for the day and toured Devin Williams. Most of the others were still closed. Well, made it to Lake Shelby Park and Campground. Canadian geese everywhere. Those people are throwing corn at them. They're, they're never leaving. A little lake, picnic area. Bath houses. And 10 campsites. Unfortunately, nine of them are out in the sun. And it was hot today. We sweltered. But for $22 a night, not bad. Never did find uh, bullet distilling. Uh, came in and called them and they're closed due to COVID. So I guess it didn't matter either way. Head in tomorrow and do uh, Evan Williams. Let's see if we can get in the Jim Beam Urban Still House. That's our two objectives tomorrow. So we'll see if we can Hit those. So far, this COVID thing's really getting on my nerves. Can't. <laughs> all these places are shut down or restricted, or you can't get a tour because they're uh, booked up and they're only allowing so many on a tour. Uh, well, it is what it is, so we're making the best of it. See you tomorrow. Well, we made it into Louisville on a uh, overcast day. Uh, we have reservations here at Evan Williams. I hope they're open. <laughs> it's all boarded up. Yeah. Evan Williams. Native, native of Wales, 
Came to Kentucky around 1780, distilling whiskey from corn. Said to have been the first commercial distillery in Kentucky. Several leadership positions. Trustee, da da da. First wharf master, he was also a master stone mason builder. Okay. Evan Williams turned out to be a great tour. Oh, that's pretty cool. A fountain. And here's the view from the second second floor. It's a big glass of bourbon. This preacher distiller named Elijah Craig figured out if he could char the inside of a new old barrel. Whiskey that's resting there develops the distinctive color and flavor we now call bourbon. We still age our bourbon naturally in traditional open rick warehouses that aren't temperature controlled. The taste testing was held in the turn of the century saloon and we sampled some great bourbon. Well, I have to say because of uh, Harry's idea when first discovered to open a main street since the end of Prohibition, 1933 or so, come back in the next couple of years, hopefully we'll have six or eight new distillers here at the farm. Well, we found out why it's all boarded up. I guess they had some uh, demonstrations a couple weeks ago, and so they're just out of precaution keeping the uh, boards on the window. What a shame. Well, good morning. We're, uh, we're leaving uh, Shelbyville, uh, or I'm sorry, Lake Shelby, Park and campground headed over to uh, Lexington. Uh, yesterday we got into Louisville, as, as you've seen, and it's all Evan Williams. Angel's Envy was uh, closed, as as were some of the others. Uh, so that's about the only thing we could do in Louisville. Headed over to Lexington today. We're going to stay at the Kentucky Horse Park. Uh, that's right in Lexington, so that should be good. Uh, and on the way, we're going to stop at Buffalo Trace. It's one of my favorite bourbons, so you should enjoy this. Uh, so stick around. Uh, oh, and we should be seeing some nice uh, horse country, too, here on our drive over to Lexington, so maybe I get some of that. After our tasting at Buffalo Trace, we made it to the Kentucky Horse Park, where we camped. All the distilleries around Lexington were closed, with the exception of Four Roses, and only the visitor center was open. National Historic Landmark, Buffalo Trace Distillery, uh, with the telltale black mold on the outside of the buildings. Looks like they're not going to let us in until 10 a.m. Good morning. How are you all doing today? Good. Taking a tour? Taking a tour? Yeah. All right. So you're going to go right through that middle door there and immediately to the left. You'll see the check-in desk and they'll get you checked in for that tour, okay? Thank you. Built in 1881. It was originally a whiskey warehouse. Okay. This is Matt, our tour, tour guide, right, Matt? Hi, folks. Welcome. Uh, hey, thanks. The tasting consisted of vodka, Buffalo Trace, Eagle Rare, cream bourbon, root beer, and a chocolate bourbon ball. Well, this is the Kentucky Horse Park Campground. Nice place. Tennis courts, uh, beautiful uh, shower facilities, restrooms, guest center, shop. Two concentric, I guess they're concentric, uh, one smaller one and one larger one. Uh, rings that go around the, uh, the guest center on this side. And then on the other side of the road, there's two more. It's a big park. No sewer hookups. Uh, the pump outs are on the way out. There's two separate ones, but uh, for a Sunday morning, that ought to be a zoo trying to get to one of them. This place is full. It's a lot of lot of campground here. About 35 bucks a night, 
And of course you have the attraction, the uh, Kentucky Horse Park. So you can need tickets to get in. And we were trying to make the uh, distillery, so some other time. Well, we made it over to Four Roses. The visitor center is open. No tours are available. Let's see what the visitor center is all like. Four Roses was the only distillery open around the Lexington area, and only the visitor center was open. No tours were available. So Dr. Dean and I purchased a couple sampler bottles and did our own private tasting later that evening. Even though COVID-19 hindered our excursion, we still managed to have a great time visiting Heaven Hill, Lux Row, Willett, Heaven Williams, Buffalo Trace, Four Roses, and the Getz Museum. Technically, Buffalo Trace and Willett are not listed in the Bourbon Trail Passport book, but oh well, how can you go on a bourbon quest and not stop at Buffalo Trace? We're already making plans for next year to complete the Bourbon Trail, get all the stamps in our passport, hopefully without this COVID-19 interfering with the trip. So until then, cheers!